Good evening. We will wait for folks to hop on, get notified, and we're going to use this fun apple harvest bundle. I want to wear it out because the dyes, hi Cheryl, the dyes will be going away at the end of this month. I really wish they'd carry these over. Of any of them, I wish they'd carry these over. So I really, I got this, um, of course I watch videos all the time, all over the place. And um, I found this from Jennifer McGuire. Hi, Glenda. So this is a really cute 3D card. It folds flat to fit in the A2 envelope. Hi, Patty. Thank you for watching. So that's a lot of fun. Hi, Kay. I have a lot of things done. Hi, Brenda, but we have a lot to do. And then I've got to show you guys a few things I've been working on. Hi, Judith. Thank you for sharing, Kay. I appreciate it. Hi, Connie. Hi, Jane. Hi, Joan. This will be a fun card tonight. Hi, Robin. You did not miss a thing. Hi, Patty. We are just jumping on here, and you know at the beginning I'm just, I just do a little advertising. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Anita. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. How's Terry doing? Hi, Donna. Good evening. Hey, Renee. Good evening, guys. Hi, Kelly. Thanks, everyone, for joining. How fun. Wonderful. So while people are jumping on, I'm going to move this aside. And this is my card class until the end of the month. This came out so stinking cute, okay? This is a card class with the craft note uh, cards and envelopes in the box. She said, I'm so sorry. Hi, Ramona. And so there's um, 10 designs. You'll get enough material to put together two of each. The class is $40. There's a bunch of add-ons. You get the box, you know, of course, the envelopes, the um, bases, and the box. And, um, and we'll put everything together uh, online. And I am working on this video PDF starting tomorrow. Um, and then you get 12 sheets of um, Gingham Cottage DSP, okay? But then you can always add on, hi, Jill. Oh, calling her doctor tomorrow. Okay, hmm, that's not good. Hi, Laura. Let's see, I'm, I think, hi, Janie. I hope I didn't miss anybody. If I missed you, good evening, good evening. Hi, Marsha. Hello, Vicki. Good evening, everyone. Yes, so this is my class. It's still going. You can still sign up for it. Hi, Deborah. And let's just look at these cards. They're so cute. Of course, I do the envelopes on each and every one. They all have the back. They look so cute. Here's, I do five in this style, like a landscape style. And then I do five in the other. And it's with the cottage wreath dies. Hi, Margaret. And you can also add on the bundle. Don't forget, if you don't have it, you can add it on. Let's see, where is it? It's right here. You can add this bundle on right here if you don't have it. It's on the registration form. You could also add on stylish shapes and deckled rectangles. I use those a lot. You can add on this um, twine. I use that a lot through here, but um, the people that did my last class, they, um, they got a whole spool of this, so I didn't want to double them up. And then they got... Um, also, who did my last class also got rhinestone basic jewels. So, like, hi, Deborah. I didn't want to double them up on things, so those are add-ons. That's why the class is just $40. So, that's just, that's wonderful. And then here are the other five, right? Then they come out cute. Aren't they just so stinking cute? Hi, Mary. I didn't think, I didn't know if I could design this many with wreaths, and I can. And I did. And I had so much fun. And a... Uh-oh. So where does this one go? Look at that. From showing them so much. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It, I must have put it like, let's get a glue dot on that real quick. It's a repair process. 
look real quick. We'll put it, where did I, I wonder where I had it. We'll put it up here. That's good. Okay. So that one and this one and then this one right here. So they really, really came out so cute. There are 10 different designs. I, just, I had so much fun making this class. 10 of them fit in the box, and then you will have another 10 to refill your box. So you will have 20 note cards and envelopes. You get enough material to put together even the inside, okay? And um, just have a whole lot of fun putting this class together. <clears throat> okay, so that's the class. Now, now, I... This is a video that's going to come out tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Mary. I know those cards are so cute. They are. Now, of course, if you're on my team, they get the video and PDF um, when I get that done. And um, yeah. But anyway, this right here, okay, this, is, this video is coming out tomorrow. Uh, this is our um, Love This Memory Notebook Kit. I have it scheduled to release, I think it's um, at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, but I scrapbooked my a little bit of our summer and some of the, um, oh, thanks, Lynn, you love the spider on the card, the envelopes, I know, right? The spider's really cute. So I scrapbooked and I used this kit. And even in the video, I show you how to make another pocket. Okay, because like you get this one in the um, in the kit from Stampin' Up, and then I measured things and, you know, did a little stuff, and then um, I show you how to make more pockets. But here are, this is what I did. I had so much fun doing it, and a video will come out tomorrow about that. So that's a lot of fun. Let's see, that's good right there. We went through that. If you place a $50 order, um, let's see, what am I giving away uh, until the 21st? It's the Leaf and Label Amber Gems. Now, I know I have those somewhere here. Well, anyway, they have the leaves and the little amber gems. I absolutely love those. Oh, I know, so cute, right? Hi, Kathy. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and pick someone to um, win this card tonight. I know, that's, okay, so that's what I said. Hi, Karen. Uh, Gloria, I haven't scrapbooked in such a long time, and let me tell you, after I did that, I realized that I need to stop putting all these pictures on the computer and on the phone. They need to be printed. They absolutely, let's see, who do we have here? Do, 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 do. Connie, Connie Pieski. You will win this card tonight. Um, yes, I absolutely totally agree with you. I do not, um, hi June, I do not scrapbook like I used to. That's how I started. First, I'm going to stamp this apple and start to color. We'll stamp this in Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. And um, yes, but I realized, oh, wonderful, Connie. I, I realized, hi Cheryl, that I love it. It's raining and I love it here and it's still hot. Wow. Boy, it is fall here, guys, in Upper East Tennessee. The, um, the leaves are falling. The leaves are changing. The temperature is cooling. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm a summertime per gal, okay? I'm just a summertime person. That's it. That's just... I, the hotter, the better for me. I don't know. I well, Only because, you know why, honest, because I just hate the cold so much, you know. So, okay, I'm going to use some Granny Apple Green. Now, we're going to do some shading tonight on these leaves, okay? So, I'm going to take my light Granny Apple Green. These are our blends. I'll list everything after I'm done with the video so that if you do want to order something, you can click on the link and just order. Oh, the other thing that I've done in the past week is I'm now an Amazon affiliate. So, hi, Cheryl. Hi, Margaret. Fall is your favorite season. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, I love spring and summer are my faves. Let me get my um, crumb cake. Yes, so I am an Amazon affiliate now. And over on my YouTube channel, there will be some links to some products and the books that I like to read. Um, and 
you don't have to order those products, okay? This is just to help me generate a little bit of income. So if you think about, um, Robin says she likes fall too. And spring and fall for Cheryl. I like spring and summer. Um, so if you are thinking about ordering from Amazon, if you even just click on the link, that helps me, okay? Um, and it doesn't cost you any money. It's just like they pay you to advertise, I suppose, for them. Um, this was suggested to me to do, so I thought I'd try it. So I thought that was pretty cool because I have, um, over on my YouTube channel, I have over 6,000 subscribers. So, um, yeah, you'll hear me talk about uh, clicking the Amazon affiliate links. And like I said, you don't have to order those products whatsoever. Like you could just click on the link and order a gas grill. Hi, Marilyn. And um, it, it just helps me. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and um, color these. Now see, that which these are beautiful, and Stampin' Up! provided some of the black. Hi, Wanda, uh, in there. But I want to accent that. So I've got the dark granny apple green, and I'm going to use a little bullet tip because I really want some heavy accents on here. And wherever this black is, and then down through the veins of this leaf, I am just hitting it with the dark, and I'm just leaving it go. Look at how that shaded that. From Missouri. Marilyn is from Missouri. That's wonderful. Thank you. What time is it over in Missouri? Let's see. What, it's 7 o'clock here. So look at the shading on that. Isn't that wonderful? I love that. Every black line... And then some of the little black, um, I don't know, shading that Stampin' Up! did. But you can totally see the difference in when I add the dark on this one. Really came out cute. So right here, do the same thing. And I don't do anything to reactivate. The, what this does is when the ink hits the ink, it just reactivates it. And so it just spreads itself out. I just love that Stampin' Up! has all these things doing the work for me because on it, I tell you guys all the time, I am not a, an artist by no means. I'm going to use a little dark crumb cake. It's 612. Oh, all right. Oh, you're not too, not, about an hour from us then. That's, it's probably about 12 minutes after 7 here. I didn't know if you were, there was like two or three hours. I'm just doing this stem up here with the dark crumb cake. Good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and color the, um, the apples. And she says it's 612 in Illinois, 713 in Virginia. Okay, so Illinois is just an hour. I get so confused. Like when, it's crazy, okay? Stampin' Up! will have a meeting, um, like a leadership meeting at three o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so it's three o'clock. I'm like on there going, oh, what's wrong with the Zoom? What's wrong with this? What's wrong? And it's not because see over there in Utah, it's not three o'clock yet, you know? So so like I'm, I'm three o'clock over here. And, and I never, I always forget to look because it, it says mountain. They post it. But I'm just like, okay, three o'clock. Then it's really not three, it's five. Because I didn't think that's two hours behind us. So I'm just coming through here. And I'm using the brush tip. Just easy coloring. Just like that. I have to admit... I, um, I played in the craft room instead of working. I wanted a scrapbook. I really wanted to use that kit. When I saw that kit, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. I went and quickly downloaded the app for Walgreens. Oh, let's put the dark in here while we're at it. I'm going to use a nib tip of the dark. Stampers are so nice. I know, right, Connie? I know. So this is the dark um, sweet sorbet. And just where... Stampin' Up! gives me the black. I'm going to accent with a darker sweet sorbet. That's all. 
And that came out really, really. Mm -hmm. That looks delicious, right? You know, um, well, I bet I could add a clear um, embossing powder to wet ink. And hi, Carrie. And get um, like a shiny apple. It, it would look like a candied apple. I think a long time ago I did a, um, a video with an apple on a stick. And we did the embossing with it and made it look like a candied apple. I remember that. You know why? Because I have the sticks. Do you know to do that video? That's so funny, okay? Look at this. To do that video, and I only made a couple of apples, I had to buy this entire thing of sticks. I remember that now. And um, <laughs> and here they are, right? That's so funny. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in there. I'm going to have to see what's in there. Oh. Well, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, all my little cubbies of stuff. You know, we're crafters. We have cub cubbies of stuff. To get into that little area, did you see I put this up on the tip and I just dot it? And then let the ink spread, okay, because of the alcohol. We used to have these other markers a while ago, and I loved them. I had no trouble with them. I think they were called blendabilities, but they used to squeak. I mean, really, really squeak when we would use them. And I just loved that sound. <laughs> I guess, it, hi, Teresa, made me feel like I was do, really doing something. Okay, look at these apples, okay, next to each other. See, this one has the dark added around that black, and then this one does not. Okay, so this one is a little bit more definitive. You can also see where I added that green, the dark granny apple green up there. Definitely makes it more definitive. Now, I've, I've already put my, cut my flowers out for the outside of this frame, because really... What you guys are really interested in is how do we get that thing to pop up, right? There we go. Good. Let's go ahead <clears throat> and um, at, let's move these aside. Let's bring this little uh, piece in from um, somebody. Have <laughs> Gee, I wonder who. Um, and so we're going to put uh, in Sweet Sorbet a wonderful little saying here. Thanks for your kindness. Just like that. Okay, and sweet sorbet. We're going to get this ready. Wonderful. And I'm going to push that aside. I've already cut out my um, stick from all this because, see, here are all the dies. You're, if, if there was one set that I was going to get. I was going to get this set. Do you see it's on a magnet? That means I'm not getting rid of it. Um, and so this set, I love it. It had so many flowers and leaves and little flowers and larger flowers and every, I mean, everything. Hi, Sue. And so, um, I, and I love this for the sentiment also. I didn't use that one on this card, but on many that, many cards that I did this week, I used it. Now, let's see, let's go ahead and stamp our envelope now. So let's get that done. <clears throat> I'm going to come up the edge here. You are pulling weeds. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a nice evening to do stuff outside. I'm waiting for the leaves to fall off of these bushes back here, and they are getting chopped to the ground because I got the chainsaw fixed. I'm gonna come up here with, with what I call my broken trellis. Hi, Jackie, thank you for joining. And then my little flower here in sweet sorbet. And I'll stamp this three times, just like that. Cute little envelope, right? That's wonderful. Okay, now, there's a few things. Um, let's go ahead and work on the inside of the card, okay? Because that's easy. We have Sweet Sorbet at, oh my God, I've never used this. It's a mini chainsaw and it's electric, so it's small. 
okay? But it's perfect for these little silly bushes back here. It's just, I really want the leaves to fall off because, oh my gosh, when you start cutting these bushes, the more you cut, it's almost like the bigger they get. I don't know how to put it. So I'm waiting for the leaves to fall off so that then I can go ahead and chop them down. Um, they're on my fence, so I really want them off of the fence. That's why I'm going to cut them to the ground. But yeah, so that, that will be... I figured if I did one bush a day, I'd be done in a week. So that's not too bad because I have to wheelbarrow all of the trimmings, you know, out to the front of the house so that the city will come and pick it up. So this is Sweet Sorbet. This is um, five by three and three quarter and basic white four and three quarter by three and a half. It just layers right on there. We're going to use our sentiment here, one of the best sentiments I, that I think they've ever made. The greatest gift is a good friend. I love that. And I'm going to stamp this right up here. Perfect. Good deal. Okay. And now down in this little corner, let's just do our little um, trellis or I don't know what to call this. Oh boy. I'm so glad that you are there um, to take care of her, Lynn. That's amazing. Just like that. Now we're going to layer this on here for the inside of the card. Little Tombow. I like liquid glue, but you use anything that you want. I love the fonts. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, to totally love the fonts on here. Really pretty. Okay, let's put this aside. Now, let's go back and look at the card. Oh, I need, I do need my, um... okay, yeah, my rhinestones. Okay, so let's look at the card, okay? It opens like this, it sits like that, it's 3D like this, okay? And so now on the outside of the card right here, our base is um, 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. But I wanna add a little bit of um, uh, wood, you know, like a little wood grain to it, okay? So this is the way, now I think <clears throat> in, um, Jennifer McGuire, I think she had another front or something like that on the card. I don't know. Um, but I was more interested in this part of hers. And then I kind of just adapted it to what I kind of wanted to do. So what I do with something like this is, um, is place this right in here. Now, you could do it either way. If you want your stripes of your wood like this, this timber look this way, up and down, you can do it like this and you know feed it through. The thing you don't ever want to do is feed your um, embossing folder that way with the open end. Okay, you never ever want to do that. It will crack it. I don't even know if I want. I would want to do it that way. To tell you the truth, guys, I'm afraid that that might crack. So let's just not even talk about that. We're going to do it this way, okay? But I want you to see first that down here, there's a little part that doesn't have any wood grain on it, okay? Let me close my ink. Yeah, let's not even think about doing that sideways like that because I am afraid that that will... See, this is just too much to go in sideways. You could feel it. There's like a bump there, and I would be afraid that um, your embossing folder would crack right into Okay, let's bring this in, the stamp cut and emboss machine. And so here we have this wonderful 3D embossing folder and my card base. And again, I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to make sure that where my score line is, is where the wood grain starts, not at the end of the embossing folder, okay? So it's right there, it's good. Looks good to me. I'm gonna put that right there. Get our number four plate. And we're gonna go ahead and run this through. That's simple. Okay. And look at that. We have embossing just on one side, okay? So now we can just 
fold on that score line. Wait, I'm going to do that in just a second. I want to show you how to do that on the trimmer. Okay. All right. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and cut out our apples. The Dallas Cincinnati game is tie. So <laughs> if anybody's wondering, I love football. But I'll tell you what, I am really, really annoyed that things are going to these streaming services. I will not be getting them. I'm, I was already just upset last year about SEAL Team leaving CBS, okay, and going to Paramount Plus. And um, now, like, all of, like, college football and everything, it's like ESPN Plus, everything plus. You have to subscribe. I'm not doing it. Hi, Jillian. Hi, Nancy. Look at how cute that apple is. Oh, just adorable. And we'll cut this one out, too. So the, my Thursday night game, I found out, plays on NFL Network, because that's part of my cable package, um, at 1230. Dallas just got a field goal. Oh, yes, they did. Yep. I have it over here next next to me. I could just see it. I just, you know, of course, I don't have the volume on. <laughs> Keep telling me, Carrie. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, I, I miss SEAL Team. Look at how nice. Oh, they look, they came out so good. I love this set. I love this set. So cute. All right, now, I have to move this back in in just a minute. But now we're going to work with the... Um, Ay, 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 ay. We're going to work with this, okay, our trimmer. And I just stuck this right here in some ink, in the flower ink, but it's okay because our, this is going to hide it. It doesn't matter. Okay, now something like this where it kind of stretches the paper, okay? Watch how I do this. I put, I use my, my scoreboard, okay, and I bring this right up to it, all right, and then I... I know, even my soap opera days of our lives are streaming services. I know. And Dancing with the Stars, too. I know. I know. Disney Plus. I am not doing that. I'm just, it's just too much. And then, like, you got all this stuff. You know, you got to turn to here. Um, get the, the what should we call it? The password for this. You know me, passwords. I want to put, like, hey, I don't, I don't even remember half of my passwords. So there is the front of that card. Isn't that wonderful? So you can do that easily with any embossing folder if you just wanted to emboss like that. Okay, so there's that. Now, what we want to do is bring the trimmer back in, and we want to talk about this part of the card right here that is this um, 3D effect, okay? <clears throat> this piece is five and a half by six and a quarter. So this is my five and a half side. Okay, right here. Why did the ball game change? I don't know. I guess they want to make money. So, so five and a half by six and a quarter, okay? And then this is my six and a quarter way this way. Just use the word password. I know I told you my, my friend, she, for her parents, she put in, I can't remember my password. So six and a quarter, okay, by five and a half. Wait, yeah, by five and a half. And then you want to score with the six and a quarter at the top, okay? The longer one. It's almost hard to see which one is the longer one, okay? It's just a little one. Uh, it's just a little bit longer than that side, okay? But you want to score this now. Let me put this arm in. At a half and one. A half. A half inch right here. And then one inch. And we're making this mechanism that's going to look so pretty. And uh, yes, I'm using this set with, but, um, but there's so many. I mean, once you have this card going, okay, like the base of it and this front, you can use almost any set that you have. I was looking through all of my things. I was like, what can't you use? Nothing. Yeah, everything. Okay. So now we have a half and one. We want to score on this side. Flip it over at a half and one. Okay, at a half and one. Right there. Okay, now, 
Now, before we do anything else, we have to move back in, stamp cut and emboss machine, and we're gonna put this here. Now, you could use a rectangle, you could use a oval if you have. Um, I, I, I happen to fall in love with these decals. These are the deckled rectangles, I just love them. I'm going to put this right here in the center, and what I'm doing is making my window. So simple. I'm gonna put washi tape top and bottom just to hold that right there, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. And I just really like the way the edges were just a little something different, you know, uh, for the front of this card. So I'm gonna go ahead, take my tape off here and here, okay? And I'm gonna, of course, save this piece. And I'll put that over here. And let's get our front of the card now. Okay, so now we have this going on. And I want to fold this like, just zigzag it, okay? Just mountain fold, you know, just zigzag it. Whoops, I went the wrong way. Sorry. Go back and then go forward, okay? To where you make it to where it's like a spring, okay? See? It's a little Z-fold, a little Z-fold. Now, if you're off a little bit, now is the time to repair this, okay? Don't like glue it on and then think that, oh yeah, that's okay, I'll just repair it there. No, do it now. Bring this to meet here, use your fingers, fold it down, then use your bone folder. Make sure that you don't see any of it on that side, okay? Thanks for sharing, Jean, I appreciate it. So make sure you don't see any on that side. Now let's do the same thing here. We're gonna fold it back and then fold it up. I just finger fold it first, okay? And then I wanna look at it. Now that side is perfect, okay? All right, so I'm happy with that. And I'm going to now bone fold this. Really, now we really wanna get in here and don't be afraid to use your bone folder and crease this, okay? Just like that. Come over here. And bring it back that way. Okay, now see, <clears throat> because I cut the deckled rectangle or whatever rectangle or, you know, whatever shape that you're going to use, um, because I cut it and this is a little bit larger than a quarter of an inch, you don't see the mechanisms. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. All right, now let's go ahead and bring in the base of our card here. And this is how this is gonna go. That's just gonna go right on there. We're gonna glue it down. Oh my goodness. It's so flipping perfect. Let's go ahead and get the inside in. You know, a little bit of back and forth and, you know, embossing and, and uh, um, uh, uh, scoring, you know, and doing all of this. But uh, it's well, oh my goodness, this card's just beautiful. They're well worth it this way, I think. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and attach this now because I can actually build from the outside. It's actually easier. Now you can use tear and tape or you could use Tombow. I'm going to use Tombow because I get so scared. Tear and tape is so permanent. Like you've got a one shot deal with tear and tape and I'm just afraid. Like I've got a little movement here, you know? So, I mean, anybody else, you use what you like. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to press it down on the edge of my card and let it fall over and just push it down here and just kind of tap it, let it come to the center. Just let it be evil, e even around the edges. So if there's a little white showing, that's okay. Okay, just like that. And I'm just gonna kind of hold that down. If you do not have a scoring tool, what do you do? Uh, you mean if you don't have a bone folder and a like a scoring um, board, what do you do? I suppose you could use a ruler. I have to think. 
Yeah, the yeah, the scoring, yeah. Um the um the trimmer has the scoring and the blade. The lighter gray is the scoring, and then this one is the cutting the blade. But if you don't have anything to score with at all, um, I'm going to think a ruler, and you know you could use a bone folder that will score paper, won't it? Let me get a piece of scrap right here. Yes, that will score. That made a score mark right there. So possibly that. I'm not sure. If anybody has a suggestion. Oh my gosh, it's tied again. Oh no, this is Arizona and uh, and um, yeah and the Raiders. I thought okay, so I don't know who won. You can also use a ruler and a bone folder. Okay, yeah, that's what use a ruler. That's what I got. Okay, all right, yeah. Now I want my little stick coming out of the inside here of my little card creation. I think this is so cute. I appreciate Jennifer McGuire for all the measurements. A credit card, oh, very good. Did you see, Deborah said use a credit card, even if you don't, you know, yeah, you could score with the end of it probably in a ruler. I want that to come out of the corner so that my apples are gonna hang on here. I'm now I'm going to use some dimensionals. What a fun card. What a fun night with you guys. This is so cute. Oh, thank you, Sue. I know, right? That's a great idea with the credit card. Yes, something that would have some, um, yay. <laughs> yeah, something that would have some, um, like, uh, be stiff and hard that you could, you know, uh, run down the paper. And just a couple of dimensionals here. And I'm going to put this one right here on the other part of the stick. And just like that. Very, very cute. Let's go ahead and add our sentiment up here so that then I know how to put my flowers. Now, automatically this bows out. Isn't that so cool how it makes it 3D? Isn't that awesome? I just want a little bit of Tombow up at the top. Okay, because the rest of it is going to really hang into the card. And I want to see my sweet sorbet up there. So cute. Oh, yes, definitely. Yes. Oh, yes, definitely. You will get a lot of use out of a scoring board. Yes, yes, most definitely. Look how cute this is coming. I love it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and let's move this aside. I want to talk about all my little flowers here. I made um, basic white. I made pool party and um, blushing bride. So, And then I made the leaves out of um, uh, grating apple green. Okay. So, and I made two of each, okay? So we have a large and a small of each, okay? So we're just gonna put the large together. I want to go ahead and alternate, and I used my paper pumpkin um, glue dots, just because they're very thin, right there. And then I'm gonna take this one off, and then, because I've got this itty bitty, okay, piece right here out of granny apple green, and it just defines that flower. Look at that. And then this little piece, these are just two of the leaves. You get a bunch of leaves to cut, and I'm gonna put that right there, okay? Just like that. Now, let's bring our card back in. And up in this corner, I'm going to use my littles. And I'm gonna start with the white. Now, I don't want these up with dimensionals because I've got a lot of dimension already, okay? So I'm just going to use a little Tombow, of course, like I always say, use the adhesive of your choice. Make sure you don't go off the outside of the card. And then a little pool party. Is that the color I used? Let's see, sweet sorbet. Yes, it is, pool party. I, I wasn't sure if I used a pool party or balmy blue. You could use either with sweet sorbet and it would look good. They, these are very cute and easy flowers. Let me show you this. In these, um, in the dyes, okay, they're embossed already, 
Okay, you could put the little one on the big one. I put two big ones together, the little ones together on this one. Another video I did, I stamped. We've got these little pieces that go on the inside. Look at all of these leaves that you get. I gotta show you this. One, two, three. You get three big ones and one, two, three, four, five, six of the smaller ones, okay? of the leaves. So I'm really happy with that because that didn't take no time to just, you know, roll that right through. So, but like I said, um, these are that little uh, deal they had going on with the perfect pairs. This one I want to come out to the side, so I'll put my glue up here. And so you might already have the stamp set with the apples. Um, so then you would just have to order the dies. The reason why at first when I saw this that I, and I have all my leaves coming to the inside, of course. Um, the reason why I didn't order the apples, and I love fruit, I usually order it, you know. Um, it is one of my things, but it did, there were no dyes, and there was no way I was fussy cutting these babies. I wish they'd really carry this over because um, it's now gonna make me like not use this set because I don't have the dyes. It'll go in my pile that I never get rid of pile. And then right here, a little Tombow here on the bottom. And look at us go tonight. Oh, so cute. So I put the large ones down here, the big ones up there. The apples are in the middle, okay? And then right here, it sits up like this. Okay, it sits up like that, but you have that dimension of that 3D effect. And guys, I'm telling you, you can use almost like any stamp set. I, like I said, I was looking through what I have and I was like, you could almost use everything with this style card. So I appreciate her wonderful design of that um, shadow box. I think it looks like a shadow box. So it looks really, really cute. And... There we go for this evening. I sure do appreciate everyone. Look for, thank you, Robin. Um, look for my video tomorrow to be released at 10 a.m. Um, and it's all about putting this wonderful book together. You'll see my family. I, of course, um, uh, showcase them. Now let's, we gotta get some bling in here because that just looks too plain, right? That came out cute, right, Brenda? So let's go ahead and use these littles right here. And I'll put one up here because apples always need a little dew drop on them, don't they? And we'll stick one in here. And then each and every flower. Oh, thank you, Sue. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. That is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And I want... Thanks for the hearts, guys. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so if you do decide to order something from Amazon, you can always go over to my YouTube channel, click the Amazon link, and order whatever you like. You don't have to order that product, of course. I really appreciate the, the help. There we go there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How sweet is that? Oh, looks so good. I just, I really, like, I want an apple. <laughs> right I love 3d this came out and this was an easy 3d you know this was not not difficult at all it's just cutting that out you could cut it out um, in the inside there with just about anything you have I would post the Amazon link here too oh okay Laura I can I guess I can do that too right yes okay I will I will post that thank you I will definitely take care of that thank you do I not order on Amazon all the time? You have to tell me what to do. Oh, thank you, Sue. I'll give you the link. And um, and then if you just click it, like I say, you can order whatever that you like. Um, you don't have to order the, hi, Julie, the, um, the product, you know, that you've clicked on. It's just that I have drove you to Amazon. So then I guess then I become like an advertiser for them. I am one of Amazon's best customers. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, guys, yes. I will um, I will post the link on here, okay? And um, 
Yeah, and I do appreciate, like I say, if you click the link and just go to Amazon, you don't have to purchase the products that I put on there, okay? And it doesn't cost you any more um, to, uh, of course, click my link. Amazon is paying me. So it doesn't have anything to do with the customer. I checked all this stuff out. I've asked a bunch of questions with a bunch of people when this was kind of posed to me a little bit. And I thought, well, okay, I'll try it, you know, and I'll advertise it and see what my, my group says. But yeah, if you're going to order anyway, yeah. Do we have to click every time? Um, if I think it's good for 30 days. I think it's good for 30 days. Like if you click it one time and order something, then I think it's good um, for uh, 30 days, something like that. So, um, yeah, so I really appreciate that. Wow, that's wonderful. I'm so glad I said something and I'm glad that I was able to do that. that I've been, that's what I've been doing the, this past week too, is learning more about how to do this and what to do. Um, anyway, so this is a fantastic bundle. This Apple bundle is so great. Um, yeah, and like I said, it's while supplies last or till the end of the month. And um, I want to do this for you. Oh, thank you, Sue. I will post it, and, or I'll I'll even send you the links in a in a message or something like that. Okay, I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right, so that's it for tonight. I will be back next Sunday at seven p.m. with, of course, another wonderful, beautiful card. There's no telling what we'll do. I'll have the video and PDF completed for my card class this week. So if you have ordered just the video and PDF, you'll be, um, and your house knows it well too, huh, Amazon Lynn, wonderful. Um, so if you um, want to order that class, it's still available to order, but um, if you've ordered the video and PDF, then uh, I should be sending that to you guys by the weekend, okay? So I have 11 videos and 11 PDFs to do for this class. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to split it up into a few days, you know, just doing a little bit at a time. All right, everyone, have a great evening. Thanks again. I appreciate you being on here with me. Thank you so much, and um, be safe, and I'll see you next week. Remember, go to my YouTube channel and look at all the videos I've done, videos with... Um, Paper Pumpkin, and I always post them on uh, Stamping in the Valley, the business page, but sometimes they get lost in all the communications that go on. So it's always best to go over to my YouTube channel and you could see some of the wonderful videos, even that I did with the apples for um, last week. They came out really cute. Thanks again. Have a good evening.